Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is part of a barbecue hop hosted by Domestic Diva Cooking. I'll include a link to her channel in the description box below. Be sure to check it out as soon as you're done watching this video. If you're new to hops, hops are very much like collabs, except instead of there being one central playlist, each person participating links the next person in the hops video in their description box below. So you basically hop around from channel to channel. So I will include the Domestic Divas uh, channel in my description box below, as well as the next video in this hop. So be sure to check both of those out as soon as you're done watching my video. If you're coming to my channel from the hop, welcome. I do weekly grocery hauls and what's for dinner videos and other foodie content as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate your support. Today, I'll be sharing two of our favorite barbecue recipes. The first up are barbecue hot dogs. Now, this really isn't a recipe, um, but I wanted to share it because to me, a barbecue or a cookout is just not a barbecue or a cookout without these barbecue hot dogs. We love, love, love these. Now, like I said, this isn't a real recipe. Really, all you need are hot dogs. Now, you can use your favorite brand, favorite kind. You can also do this using smoked sausage or brats, and then you need your favorite barbecue sauce, and that's all you need. Now, I usually cook these on our outdoor grill, but it had rained for about three days in a row, and I needed to go ahead and get this uh, video filmed and up, so I decided to just do it on my indoor grill, and I also thought this would be good to share with you in case you don't have an outdoor grill or in case the weather isn't nice or you want to make, you know, a cookout food in the wintertime. You don't have to have an outdoor grill uh, you know, in order to be able to enjoy food like this. So this griddler, I absolutely love it. It comes in so handy. I've heated it up. I'm just going to add my hot dogs, grill them until they're about a minute or two away from being done. And then I'm going to brush them on all sides with some barbecue sauce and allow them to cook for another minute or two until that barbecue sauce gets nice and sticky. And here are the finished hot dogs. Like I said, these are so good. I know it seems really simple, but letting the barbecue sauce cook on those hot dogs, it just gets nice and caramelized. They're delicious. My mom and I, we just enjoy the hot dogs just as they are. We don't put them on a bun or anything, but you can definitely put them on a bun and add whatever your favorite condiments are and you will enjoy these. These are really good. To go along with the hot dogs, I'm making an Amish macaroni salad. I will include a link to the recipe in the description box below for this. I'm not a huge macaroni salad fan, but I actually really enjoy this. This is really good. You will need some elbow macaroni, sugar, vinegar. The recipe calls for salad dressing like Miracle Whip. I normally don't use Miracle Whip in a lot of stuff, but I use it in this recipe. I've never really made it with mayonnaise. You could try either or. I'm not sure how it would turn out, but I just recommend sticking with what the recipe says. You'll need some diced red bell pepper, some diced hard-boiled eggs that have been shelled, relish, mustard, and some diced onion. And the recipe also calls for diced celery and I believe celery salt, but I hate celery, so I, I never add the celery, but you can add that in if you'd like. A quick note, I'm having the recipe because this is just for my husband and I for dinner and then we had it for lunch leftover for a couple days. I have cooked the elbow macaroni according to the package instructions. I've drained that and set that aside. In this mixing bowl, I'm going to add in the Miracle Whip, then the relish, and really everything that we're adding, you can totally add this to taste. If you like things sweeter, add a little bit more sugar. If you don't like things as sweet, don't add as much. You can add more or less mustard, you know, whatever you like, you can customize it. I haven't made this in a little while, so I forgot. I added the full amount of mustard that the recipe calls for, and I actually prefer for a little bit less mustard. But like I said, add a little bit, and then you can always, you know, adjust the seasonings to your taste and the ingredients to your taste. Now, speaking of adjusting things to your taste, the full recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of sugar, which I feel like is a lot of sugar. Now, the Amish macaroni salads, they are a little bit sweeter, but still, I just feel like that's a lot of sugar. So when I make the full recipe, I only add about a third of a cup of sugar, and then I'll add a little bit more, you know, if I feel like it needs it. So I would suggest that you do the same. You can always add more, but it's really hard to take it back out. So I've added the sugar. I've also added in the white vinegar, salt, pepper, the chopped onion, chopped bell pepper, chopped hard boiled eggs. I'm going to stir that until it's well combined. And then I give this a taste. And like I said, this is the time to adjust it. If you feel like you want more mustard, more relish, more sugar, more salt, whatever you feel like it needs, adjust it to your taste. Once it's there, I'm going to add in the drained elbow macaroni noodles. I'm going to stir that until it's combined, cover this with a lid, and then refrigerate this for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then it's ready to serve. And here is the macaroni salad. 
Like I said, this is really, really delicious. We enjoy this recipe and I recommend you give it a try. And that's it for today's video. Be sure to check the description box below for the link to the next video in this hop and check it out. And also be sure to check out the Domestic Diva Cookings channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.